very blessed. But nothing is more important to me than my family. I'm very fortunate to have a beautiful wife, I have two stepsons, and I have a daughter. And I live every day to make sure I become a great leader, show a great example to them. Nothing's more important in my life than making sure that I help them grow up to be the best people that they can be. All right. Being a single mother is rewarding, frustrating, hurtful at times. It's enjoyable, but yet it can be stressful when you have to assume all the responsibility for your child, even though you did not create the child alone. Um, I just try to make good choices and always make sure that I'm doing something to better myself for my children. What parent doesn't push their children past themselves? Because the lack of fathers as opposed to just baby daddies is producing the lack of morals, the lack of values, and the lack of a head. Therefore, the body continues to fall or the family. You had the time, effort, and energy, the endurance to lay down and make a child with somebody. Have the time, effort, energy, and the endurance to weather the good and the bad times with that person to raise that child. Don't turn your back on that child because you and that person can't get along. If y'all was able to get along long enough, you see that I say, to produce a child, you can humble yourselves and get along to raise that child. I'm not perfect. None of us are. But I make sure that I show my best, that I lead by example. I can say lots of words, but what really will sink into my children are what they see every day. They see how I operate. They see how I lead my life. They see how I interact, communicate with others. That's the best thing I can do to help them grow up, is give them good, solid examples. You may think it's not important to be a part of your child's life. You have no idea how much you set them up for life how much they worship and adore you, and how much you can really change what their outcome is, the way they look at the rest of their life. Whatever little bit of time, whatever little bit of experience, whatever little bit of money you can spend with your child can make all the difference in their lives. Why do we care about our children? In a world where teenagers grow up killing, and a clueless father can't explain his own feelings, Silently raging on the inside about his own upbringing. Can you relate to the pressures of the drugs or the violent streets? To taking on the largest responsibilities and losing sleep? Sacrificing his own wants and needs to invest into his seeds, whom he promised never to mislead. Then he learned and watched him grow. Guiding, praying, and protecting for it. And the results are soon to show. Sometimes it's hard. And sometimes even seem unbearable stress. But a father can't stop training because the child continues to stretch. Maybe sometimes we have to feel pain. We have to master a war and come out sore. That way we may soar. Because sometimes running from the struggle only brings more. Then we find ourselves begging God, desperate for free, wondering if we can even take more. But to the real father, hmm, it is what it is, because my children are just worth dying for. What's going on, Destiny? I just left home. Yeah, but I miss you already. What you doing? Over here waiting on Roger. Then I'm going to go to work. After all that, I'm all yours. You know, I'm 
I'm thankful to have a supportive wife like you. Where all this coming from? You never talk about it. Talk about who? Your father. Yeah, my dad. Hey, I'm going to hit you up when I get off work, okay? Okay. Love you. All right, love you too. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm always on time for work. I'm just dropping my son off at school. Oh, yeah. I'll see you in a couple hours, man. All right, thanks, boss. Yeah, man, my fault, man, for leaving y'all here, man. Hey, man. I had to take my son to school. Y'all know how that is, man. Yeah. Saying here just chilling. Hey, uh, Mark, where the women at? I know you're always running away with your ugly ass. Yeah, <laughs> boy, you want to talk. Sit up there looking like somebody to play bingo on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, I know somebody who like it. Mo, man, man pop some popcorn, bro. Let me watch a movie on this forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes, boy. <laughs> y'all sound silly, man. Look, though, Red, how would you feel if somebody was at your crib right now? Mm. I'm talking about a dude, man, with your I wife. I don't know how to feel. You want to know why? Why? Because I got it on lock. Ah, uh, yeah. L-O-C-K. Ooh. Let me cut you short right there, brother. Um, because on the way over here, I saw Jody jumping through the window. <laughs> Jody climbing through the fence. Got him. No. Got what? him. It's time to prove a point. Y'all don't believe me. It's time to right. watch this. Look. <laughs> Look. Daddy called Tyrone. Look at this, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Hello? What's up, baby? How you doing? Hold on. Oh, all right. All right, start. Do I like what? Yeah. Uh, 11, I'm staying at the clock. Uh, all fours, I'm praying it don't stop. My mind up in the state, the city of all sins. Moms and granny up on them slots. I hope they win. Better ends, maybe bins, first class, same piss. Balance out the low, so we live with no fears. Where I'm from, quiet ones is the ones with the gun, and the loud ones always seem to be the first to run. They don't want us together, separate love. All this hate and fight on the ground. I'm talking, imagine if we could build to better the town. Give our woman a crown, cause the true ones know how to hold that king down. I'm not stopping till my name spell out on ground. See me out and salute, or hit me with a dub, you killing them now. Yes, I'm not failing this test. Competition with self, so I ain't stunning the rest. I'ma be here for a while till the Lord I confess. Show my mama I survived, bird leaving the nest. Fly high, bye bye, only thought of success. Even though bullshit always comes knocking at the door, I'ma open up, walk tall on these toes. Walking proof of truth, set fire to the booth. And when you hit this hook, you gon' die ride too. So Mills, go ahead, show me what we do. Go strong. We gon' hustle to the name engraved on that gravestone. Figured out my reason, so this, this is, is what, what I live for. My family, opportunity, opportunity to be the best me, and, and the, the world, world shall see where I come from. Uh huh, uh huh. That explains why we go strong. Yeah, I'm tired of logging on the Facebook. Shit, another log.
lost life. I feel like just a death book. The kind of story lining up. No brainer. Yeah. 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 I don't know what you're mad for. I already told you what was gonna happen, man. You don't see this bullshit? No, they cheating me, man. Who cheating? People that work here. <laughs> you know, I got skills, and you don't bowl good. You terrible. They cheating me. Right. Some in the ball, or some in the lanes when I get up there. I was in your head all day, loser. How was you in my head and you lost, Roger? See, I ain't lose, man. Them lanes was jacked up, man. <laughs> so the lanes just fixed themselves when it was my turn, right? Man, you sleeping on my skills. You don't even bowl that well anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Listen, man, you a sore loser, man. man. Sore loser. Man, how am I a sore loser when somebody I know probably worked there and wanted me to lose? Oh, my. God, listen, man, your game just need a little uptight, man. Just get it right. Man, no, 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 no. See, I want to see numbers. I don't want to see no damn exes. Ain't, you know I don't get along with none of my exes. All my exes can kiss my black ass, Mosley. You should be happy about that one strike you got. Man, and, and listen, I guarantee you something going to be wrong with the basketball court tomorrow. Watch. Man, you just watch. Man, I got real basketball skills. I was an All-American. We, we, we know that, right? Roger. You passed the ball to the people in the bleachers, bruh. Man, I had scrubs on my teeth. But you told people I passed the ball over the bleachers? You did. Man, kiss my ass, Mosley. Oh, my God, man. For real. Well, one thing you need to lear learn to get better at on the real, what's up with you going over there to see little Roger, man? When you going to do that? Man, honestly, I suck at being a dad, for real. Oh, finally, no excuses. <laughs> but man. look, though, man. Man, it, it, it's like, man, I, I get this awkward feeling. It's like when I used to go over my pop's crib back in the day. I get that same feeling when I'm around Lil' Roger. Yeah, man, but who knows how to be a dad, bro? None of us do. But not knowing how is not an excuse for not being one. You see what I'm saying? I feel you, man. Uh, I guess I can just try a little harder. I'll just talk to you tomorrow, man, all right? All right, peace, love, brother. See you tomorrow, bro. All right, man, be ready to get hooped on. Go get you some jump shots in. You know you're going to need it. Man, you know I'm like Chef Curry. Swish. Like that. Funny. Nice, you're doing a great job, little Mosley. Oh, hey, Mom, sorry, thank you. Hey, son, did you go bowling? Yeah, I went, uh, man, average about a 225. Oh, that's pretty good. What's your boy Roger bowl? A 16? <laughs> oh, you know he came and showed it out, but he rolled like a 26, though. Oh, that <laughs> child is a character. You got your half of the rent. Oh, wow, Mom, you don't want to never leave? You got my money? And the next time you want me to babysit little Mosley, you let him go to sleep early. I get tired sometimes. Hey, grandson, huh? And? Hey, buddy. What you up to? I missed you, man. Yo, bro, I was up at the park, man, and um, I ran across a couple ladies. One, I got the cracking jokes on, you know how I do. She was trying to get on my socks, I won't let that shit go. So I started getting on her fucking bus down there's car, and she tried to say I ain't had one. I'm like, bitch, I got plenty of cars. I get what I need to be. But her name was uh Monica. Got the number, long story short. But her friend, I really think she'd be a good fit for you. She she cares about her kids. She's a hardworking woman. I think you should holler at her. Kids? How many kids she got? I think one. Man, you know I ain't worried about nobody but Lil Mosey. I know, and she only worried about her, so that's, that's a good fit. I know you're trying to, I know you're tired of pulling that thing. Man, you crazy. <laughs> I'm focused on being the father I need to be, man. We got enough of them out here who's slacking, so. Well, you gotta... focus on being a father. I'm going to focus on getting behind them. You don't need to say it. I hear you, man. 
So what's up, man? We want to link with him? I'm telling you, man. Ladies, pfft, strapped. Man, these chicks be having baby daddy drama and all that kind of stuff, man. I'm cool. I do think she got a worthless ass, bum ass baby daddy. I think his name Joshua, Jesus, I don't know. That's crazy, man. And you coming here trying to introduce her to me. You did. You knock the motherfucker out. If not, we'll stump him out. Man, I'm gonna take care of my son. You know how I get down. That's cool, though. But in the meantime, you need to, you need to, you know, stop letting that thing be dry and get a little wet. Cool, man. Hey, you boy, but I take them both. You know how I get down. Don't say I never tried to, you know, put you on. Ah, boy. Sitting here listening to you talk your crazy mess as always, Roger. Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grab me some of the drinks, you know, I'm right, though, man. You know that. You gonna get your stuff together one day. I might. For little Roger's sake. Okay. Yeah. Ah! The, man. Yeah. Shit, man, I thought somebody was back here, man. Oh, ah! oh my god, I think he's dead! Oh. Oh. Roger, you the one home to change clothes. What you got planned today, man? <laughs> But I'm always on um, women. I can't believe that NyQuil kicked in in front of the lady, man. NyQuil? Oh, man, you got knocked out. Nah, man, right before I came, I took some medicine, and it kicked in when dude <laughs> threw the punch. What? Man, you crazy, man. You crazy. Nah, man, I gotta call Monica, bro. Hey, man, she getting you knocked out and stuff, man? For real? I think you need to hold off. Like, hold off. Man, ain't nobody knocked me out, man. That was a fucking sucker punch anyway. The fuck? Can't hold you, bruh. Man, nah, man. Go on with that shit, man. Can't hold you, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. I you ain't was gonna nah. sleep. Nah. That was a fucking sucker punch. You still good for tonight? That's what's up. Let me holler at my boy Mose and uh, we'll get back to you momentarily, alright? Alright, peace. The day's still on, Mosley. The day's still on, baby. That's cool, man. Do your thing. Well, you know what I'm gonna do, but um, is she bringing her friend Destiny? Ah, nah, man. I told her, Mosley, I'd get him out of school, man. We'll get a couple games of chess in there. Man, you know he gonna get his homework done, and you always play chess. Yeah, man. But be real, though, man. You need a ride, don't you? Yeah, I need you to drive. Come on, man. Listen. When are you going to start playing chess with your son? I mean, you know you like her. I mean, his mama take me off child support. That's, that's what's wrong with today, man. You know this little paying child support, that don't make you a father, man. I ain't you. Listen, man. Two hours, Roger. I give you a couple hours at the most. You cut into my son's time, man. All right. All right? A couple hours. All right, that's what it is. I am so glad to see my partners. <laughs> what y'all been up to? Oh, nothing. You know, just working, taking care of these kids. Yeah, me too. Been working too much. Mm, I've been working so much. I need a drink. Debbie, you ain't got nothing to drink. Girl, you know Mosley don't want no liquor up in here. I got my grandkids. You kill me. Hmm, so I find it mighty funny that you done fighted us over with no drink. What's going on with that? I find it mighty funny that you didn't bring a drink. Uh, negative. You know me. <laughs> Not going to do that. Yeah. Well, anyways, how Mosley and his son doing damn well? He doing okay. I'm surprised he went on a date tonight. You know, because all he think about is his son. So, inquiry minds would like to know, who did he go on a date with? Because, you know, these young chicks do not know how to keep a man these days. And you do? <laughs> yes. We know who can't keep a man. Mm. Who? You. you. Me? Mm. <laughs> And you better stay away from my baby. And he paying bills, too? He come do that over at my crib all day, every day. Yeah, him and everybody else. Hmm. Roger, what's up, man? Yeah, I see you had a good time last night with Monica. No, I did not have sex with Destiny, man. That is not what life is all about, man. Yeah, she cool. But we'll probably be kicking it again. No, I'm not helping you get no other job, man. 
I done helped you get about three jobs. You done lost three of them. I'm not finna mess my name up for you. No, no, no. Yeah, you are my guy, but I'm not doing that, man. I can't keep doing this for you. <laughs> okay. I sound like a Judas Priest with boys on my nipples, huh? That's what you need to do, man. You need to be a comedian. You keep up with the current events. You always got jokes. And you stupid, you ugly. What more do a comedian need? Hey, man. Hey, let me hit you up, man. Hey, no, hey, no, Brandon King walking down the street. Man, quit hating, man. He doing his thing, man. Doing his thing. You need to find your purpose. Peace, man. Bye. Bye. My man Mo, what's good, baby? What's going on, man? Much, what you got going on there? Grind hard endurance drink. Straight up? Yeah. Let me see this, man. Who you selling it for? Hey, for myself, man. Me and Z. You know, this is a company I own now. Word? Yeah. It's been two and a half years now. It's growing. This thing blowing up, baby. Hey, man, so you just pushing these around the neighborhood right now? Man, yeah, man. I'm just out here letting everybody taste it. You know what I mean? Just out yeah. drinking the people, man. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? Dang. Gotta start somewhere. So look, uh, <laughs> what's yeah, up, man? Bringing it home, baby. Hold on, man. I saw a commercial or something about this, man. You own this? Yeah, bro. That's me, man. Yeah, man. I'm a fire. Man, thanks, bro. Hey, everybody said they like it, so mm. I'm like, you know. Think what, what, man? Man. This Joshua Cat, man, been disrespecting me, man. It's a long man. story. It's a long story. I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm pay for that for you. For real? I got you, bro. All right, bro. Matter of fact, just give me these right here. I'm going to pay for these. Man. And I'm going to take care of you. I appreciate it, bro. All love, man. You already know. Yeah, man, shit. This money shit slow today, man. I'm trying to hop on these motherfucking sluts. Man, fuck them sluts, man. I'm trying to get this money, man. Fuck that nigga Mosley, too. That's what I'm trying to get on this top, too. Fuck that nigga, man. That nigga got me so heated walking around with my motherfucking son and shit. I'm ready to get at that nigga, too. Fuck him. Shit, yeah, man. Whatever you trying to do to that nigga, you know I got your back, man. Man, you better have my motherfucking back. I'm going to bust your motherfucking head. On God, nigga. Straight up. Fuck that. We getting that nigga, man. And we going to get this money. Shit. Nigga got my motherfucking kid, nigga. I'm trying to take care of mine. Fuck him. Nigga think he the shit. Bitch ass nigga. You know what I mean? For real, you with me? Got you, man. That's what's up. What's up, man? I ain't recognize you without the Bentley. I'm not gonna drive a $200,000 car in this neighborhood. W what's your problem? The problem is, man, I ain't making enough money. I think you're gonna try me, and I think you're gonna lose. Why would I plot on you, bro? I don't even know you, man. Look, I pay you to sell a little bit of drugs, and you blow your money on trivial shit, and now you want to raise? I should be able to blow money. Real. Wrong. A guy like you? A guy like me? Yeah, a guy like you. It's immature. You're blowing your money on stupid stuff. But me, I provide for my family, and I keep myself out of trouble. You neglect your child. How you know my business? The question is, is how can I trust a guy that can't even be trusted by his own kid? What you calling me a snitch? No, what I'm saying is, is I'm done with this child bullshit. I'm done giving you handouts. I'm done helping you going nowhere. That's how it is? It's exactly like that. Come on, man. All over this child, man. You can get out now. Hey. 
Hey, brother, how you doing? Uh, can I help you with something? Oh, yeah, hey, hey, how you doing there, Moses? How you know my name, man? Oh, just from being around the neighborhood. Take care of them boys, huh? He gonna take care of you, too. Uh, I don't mean no disrespect, but who gonna take care of me? Ah, uh, brother, I don't mean no harm, man. I'm just, just trying to relay a message. Ah, uh, nah, 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 man. I know you don't mean no harm, man. Uh... This is kind of curious about how you know me. You know me around the neighborhood or something? I just heard your name from around the neighborhood. And I hear good things about you. Okay. What they call you, man? What's your name? They call me Booger. Booger? Yes, sir. You look like you can use something to eat, man. I'd be obliged. I am kind of hungry. All right, man. Come on in, man. I'm going to get you something to eat, bro. you know how much I appreciate what you've been doing for Lil Mosey, man. You know, you've been an amazing stepdad, and I really appreciate that as a man, from a man to a man. Oh, yeah, man. I definitely appreciate it, man. Um, anytime I can lend a hand, I mean, I have children of my own, so, I mean, what is what is it for me to step up? That's that's easy. Like, I'm supposed to do that. That's what's up, man. You know, I'm going to have to get you back out in that bowling alley, though, man, do you bad. No, I don't think you're ready for that. Um, I got some new balls and shit, so I don't think you're ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I got some new balls, man. And I'm going to have to go and show up on you, though. That's what I do. You know what I do. Yeah, it's not about the ball sometimes. It's about... Um, Striker. Yeah. Oh, the, that's what you're doing? <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, man. So, but no, I mean, just straight up, I really appreciate that, man. You know, it's just been, it's been tough, man. You know, I try to beat up on my son, as you know, pick him up from school and stuff. And I do his work with him, but man, it's been all love with you, man. I've been dealing with this Joshua cat on the other side, man, with my my step uh, my stepson's biological dad, and uh, this dude right here, man, just threatening my life, disrespecting oh, me, man. all kind of stuff, man. And I mean, he really just got me off my square. So on this end, I ain't dealing with nothing like that, man. It just you and Brenda has done a wonderful job in raising my son over there, and I mean, as a man, I just can't thank you no more. Oh, man, you, I mean, you don't owe me no thanks, man. The bigger picture is for, you know, us to raise him as, as men, as as we wanted to be raised, you know. And, you know, me and Brenda, we got that communication down, locked, intact. You do, too. And, uh, you know, it, he gets the best of all three of us, you know, so the best of three worlds, I guess, you know, because we all have our inputs and our, yeah. our, our, our straightaways that we put into his life, so. That being said, I mean... Hey, thanks for coming through on that, uh, on half of his tuition as well. Man. Uh, Appreciate that, that, that. That's no problem. Yeah. Man. You already know I have my half regardless. That's know. what's up, man. That's what's up. Cool. Man, what is this? This is terrible. This is my program, and it is fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and change this. Excuse me, sir? I'm watching this. Uh, and maybe you need to find something for you guys to do. All right, boys, come on. Let's do our own thing. your life together, man. You ain't no guest. You better go and get up. Man, I don't know what my son doing. Man. You his daddy. You supposed to know. Go see him. Hey, that, that's what's up. Hey, you give him my shoes um, I gave you your son? You know I gave him the shoes. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't telling him it's for you. That's a, that's your job. Man, that's, the, that's what's up. You go check on your little brother. My little brother? What you talking about? I signed the papers the other day. You my oldest son. <laughs> man, you better get your life together, Wim. I ain't no Wim. 
I got heart. But it ain't what your son gonna tell people. I got heart. So he gonna tell everybody you a wimp. My dad's a wimp is what he gonna say. All right. Whatever. Your daddy. Yeah, what's going on, man? You know, I ain't heard from you. What you up to? I hear you got some mess going on. You no, know, you might want to check your sources. Your source is bad. I don't do mess, Dad. And how you got a picture of a son on Facebook? You don't even call and see how I'm doing. If you did, you would know I got two sons. Yeah, I heard. Hey, listen. You don't want to be raising another man's child. Take my advice. I mean, no disrespect, Dad, but I done came a long way without your advice. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just try this on my own. You know, I got a friend who smokes crack. His kid love him to death. But I don't like excuses. I mean, look at that. What does this man's habits got to do with him being a father? All right. Love you too, son. Bye. Serious, bruh? I ain't none of these little boys out here, man. What you think I'm supposed to be scared of you or something, bruh? You think you better than me or something? Be honest, I won't even waste my time thinking about you, cat, ever. But see, that's cool, because I already got Destiny's approval anyway. <laughs> yeah. Destiny's approval. Yeah? Why? So you can keep messing up this boy life like you've been doing? <laughs> man, I'm about to whoop your ass. <laughs> All that's gonna do for me is prove to me who you really are, man. So what's that? <laughs> A pussy. A deadbeat-ass dad who always looking for a handout. Man, I'm about to ride out on your ass. What you better do? Straight up. Hello? Yes? This is she. Mosley! Mr. Towns? Yes. Mosley Towns? Yeah. What is the relationship that you have to Mr. Malik? I'm his father. Okay, sir. Um, he was found in an abandoned, where an abandoned warehouse, and uh, one of the neighbors heard him, and he remembered how to call his grandma. He is going to be okay. He's just a little shooken up. So we can take him home? He'll be all right, sir. You'll be able to take him home. Trust me, this has never happened again. Thanks. Ever. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this pussy. Not this motherfucker. Ain't you tired of being a low life all your life? I mean, who abandons babies? You ready to get beat down? Listen, you already beat down. And I crack jokes, and right now, you the joke. You might have got KO, but we got guns too. I mean, you, you, you hyped about a sucker punch. What's up? <laughs>
you doing out here laid out like a drunk, man? Man, fucking around with Joshua again, man. With Joshua? Oh, man, you tripping, man. Man, I, I slipped, so I just decided to lay out and get some shade, man. I don't know. Hey, man, come on, man. Why don't run the corner with me, man? Dust yourself off. <laughs> Stuff going on. I'm just trying to get everything together. You know what I'm talking about? I feel you, brother. Saying this way, man. Hmm. For real. A man has to know what a man wants. Well, you know what he wants. I don't know if I can call myself a man yet. But you are a man, and we need more of your time. So continue to stand for what you fight for. Man, sometimes I think I'm fighting a battle I can't win. But some battles are worth fighting for. And you got the courage to fight. Because if you don't fight, then lost the battle anyway. Yeah, we're going to get up out of here. You know, I always appreciate you, Mr. Howe. Thanks for the news. No problem, young man. Appreciate it, Mr. Howe. All right. No problem. See you later. I'm out of here. I'm around the corner right quick, all right? All right, man. I'll just swing around and pick you up in a minute, all right? All right, cool. Yeah, man. Nah, no, I'm just leaving the house real quick. I had to stop at the house, man, to pick up some stuff for my job. Now I'm going to load it. Hey, who done opened my car door? Hey, I'm gonna hit you back. Man, I just, man, I just put it What you looking for something? Oh. You know I got that thing on me too, so I'm trying nothing stupid. So I'm guessing you know what my medical products are, right? Yeah, we finna get paid off real good too, Bosley. Did your mom ever tell you to be more responsible? Man, listen, man. I got kids to provide for, man. Did you ever think of that, genius? Now, I can't even take credit for this, dog. You know who's responsible. So you can pull this type of job for Joshua, but you can't tell him to be a father to a son, right? See, you can't manipulate the man that's holding the gun, bro. This street shit, this money, this loyalty, I'm all about this shit, man. I was born in it. All right, so this loyalty you talking about, right? Joshua gonna be loyal enough to pay you for this? See, his plan was to see how much a father you would be without your job. What's these medical boxes worth right here? Five, six hundred dollars a piece? We good, bruh. We about to be pushing drugs all through your neighborhood. Tell Joshua, he can come up with all the tactics he can possibly come up with. I'm going to be a father for my son, whether he there or not. He might get me to bend, but he'll never break me. Ever. Now send that loyal message. Man, nigga, that cock ass nigga in his son right now, bruh. Nigga, I'm about to ride out on that nigga and his son. Matter of fact, I'm about to get his son. That nigga got my son, so I'm gonna fuck his son up. Fuck that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Right back, Roger, man. Hold your horses.
just like that. Bullets flying. My son in the middle of it. Boy, I tell you, people can get ignorant these days, man. I guess it is what it is. But the first thing came to my mind. What would life be without my son? Then I thought, no way, no how. Jesus, you're all we have. Without you, we're nothing. Lord, I always heard that a parent should go before their child. Lord, I'm willing to give my life up for him. Please, Lord, heal my child right now. I believe in your power, Lord. I have faith. My hope has never left. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. It's just a shame. All of us is like, I told you, I'll always be there and do the best I can. I guess I have to this point. I can't even help him. I can't get him out.
that I'll drop, then it's yours. $250,000, man? Confused, though, man. I mean, why you pretend to be homeless? You got that kind of money. I never told you I was homeless. You just assumed I was. But, sir, you're special. And your boys are special, too. It just starts with you. See, they can kill my body, but my spirit gonna always be here. Cops killing over color, brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Cops killing over color, brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Cops killing over color, brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Cops killing over color. Brothers killing brothers. Two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Lord, I pray I see you in all the suffering. Lord, I pray I see you in all the blood spilling. I pray I see you in all the drug dealing. Humanity is sick. Our oh, Father, we need a healing. The enemy is out to kill all of God's children. But no weapon he forms will prosper against them. Cops ready to kill over melanated pigment. Under a government on a genocide mission. That's why we gotta have awareness and pay attention. Black on black crime. Will he still? Man, you can't still worry about what's going on in my life, bro? Nah, man, it's a friendly visit, man. A friendly visit? Who said we friends, bro? I'm provide for my child. Provide for your child. I'm gonna provide for my son, whether you dead or alive. Snitch. Nah, I'm not. But what you are, rhymes with it, bro. <laughs> yeah. You got the money to fight back. You got the money to fight back. Yeah, you know I do. You better. It's probably about your only hope. 
And you know what you better be able to do on top of that? What? <laughs> you better be able to explain why my son was left in that abandoned house that night. How about that? How about that? Oh, yeah. Get that together. Oh, yeah. You cowards have a good night. Oh, yeah? Let's get this snitch. Come on, cuz. This however you want to. Good, because I ain't even come here to fight, bro. Obviously you do. You want me to sign my son over to you so you can look like some type of hero, nigga? See, that's what you don't get. I'm already a hero to little Malik, man. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. All I know is I got two sons that I give a damn about, and I give them the whole world. If it benefits them, I'm ready to die for them. I can arrange that. Look, Joshua, we know you can arrange that. You try to shoot my son, you shot me. You feel me? I forgive you for that. Well, let's just do what's best for Malik, man. It's all about this little boy's life, not about our beef. What about my life, nigga? I ain't got no mom or no dad. Whether you like it or not, nigga, this the real world. I'm a gutter-ass nigga ready to kill something. For real. Kill something for what? The fuck you think I am? So you and somebody just like you can see who can kill who first? What, this a murder competition or something out here, man? Man, who the fuck is Mosley? I bet you had a father checking on your grades and shit, reading sentimental books and shit, you know what I'm saying? Tucked in ass nigga. Look, man, I ain't never had none of that. I'm just trying to make sure my boys got that. You understand where I'm coming from? Bullshit, nigga. Malik told me how y'all be playing chess and shit. That's why I left this little ass in that abandoned house, nigga. For real. Now, fuck you. Somebody like you don't even deserve to live. Got the nerve to sit here and brag about it like you done did something honorable. What you gonna do? What's a move? Pull the trigger, nigga. My foster mother told me I was Satan's grandchild anyway. Blow me away, nigga. As bad as I want to, you ain't even worth it, yeah. man. You ain't even worth it. Mm -hmm. You have a blessed day. Fuck on, nigga. The things real people fight for. The strategies we utilize to win wars, well, how to win, we're not sure. They say choose your battles wisely. Well, I personally find it hard to turn down battles I might lose in a chess match. I might get checkmated on the next move, or well, maybe I got loose screws. I don't mind taking chances at times. Might even lead a pawn stranded, because it can turn into a queen, like a boy to a king, even though there was a time when he was lost and abandoned. I may come up short, but the next time I won't lose the same way, because I learned. If you see me in the fire twice, it won't be the same hand that got burned. And because I fought until I couldn't, I still win, because I fought to the end. See, life them threw brick walls at me. The enemy that showed his war is crafty. But every time I fall, it's like the Lord catch me. God is the source, but you would say I have big balls. I'm able to keep going when I'm knocked off my feet. Because God's grace allows me to crawl. If I lose, I still win because I fight until my opponent respects and I stand tall. And that storm that was once so hard to calm is resolved. Who dare surround himself with clowns? <laughs> Not I. To me, it's simple. You either man up to adversity or you surrender and you stand down. Yeah, destiny. I told you I'd call you. Y'all ready? Yeah, I'm good. Just left the graveyard. I'm good. Sometimes I just feel like I killed a dude myself, though. Yeah. Like if I wouldn't have jumped in front of that bullet, he would have never had to give me his heart. I know. I understand that, but he's still dead, man. I just wish he just went out in a different way, you know what I mean? Hey, you know, I've been thinking. Man, it's time for me to go ahead and adopt my son. 
Mosley Malik my heart, man, but it's time to go ahead and make that happen. Going to get married. I'll be there in about 15 minutes. All right. Man, I'm telling you, it's gonna turn out nice, man, for real. I hope so, man. How much you spend on the food, though? Man, come on now. Don't be all up in my business, man. You know, I'm just celebrating being the best man. I gotta do what I gotta do. I appreciate you, though, fam. You know I So love. thank you, man. Love, love. Straight okay. up. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, it's gonna turn out pretty nice, bro. I'm telling you, for real. I mean, I hope so. Just celebrating being the best man, you know? I hear you, man. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. All day. You know I thank you, man. Oh, love. Really All appreciate day. you, fam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No problem. For sure. I raised a man, but I can't find one for me. What's uh, up with that? Come on, Ma. You know you're going to find somebody. Yeah, right. All right. I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> yeah, I got confidence in you, man. Oh, yeah. I think you're going to make it. It's going to come out real good, so... Oh, yeah, I can't wait, man. I'm very excited, you know? We're gonna do what we do. Looking like I'm the man of the hour, though. Stop, man. You know you like the more, like the man of the minute. I'm the man <laughs> of the hour, you feel me? <laughs> Come on, oh. Elmo's. Whoa. Get the wind and blew in. Fucking devil. I ain't gonna be here long, man. I just wanted to say thanks. Thank me? Thank me for what, man? Man, fuck all that shit, man. Let's jump. Federal law for my case up. Feel like I'm be sitting down for a long time. I've been thinking about my life, man, and realize, you know what I'm saying, hating you was the most unrealist thing I could have ever done. You know what I'm saying? You're my worst enemy. The fuck, man? Get the fuck out of here, man. Let him talk, man. Let him talk. Let him talk. It real. You're right, bro. I can't break you. And it was foolish of me trying to break somebody that was trying to be a father to my son. Peace. Fuck that shit. Hell no. No. Hey, yo, Joshua. Look, man. Take care of yourself in there. Get your stuff together. Me and the family come check you out. Is that fair? That's what's up. What? Fuck, man. You just as lost as he is, brother. For real, man. Straight up? Man, I can't take this shit. I think we've all been lost at some point. I'm just thankful my life making progress. You feel me? I hear you. Brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Cops killing over color. Brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Cops killing over color. Brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Cops killing over color. Brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Lord, I pray I see you in all the suffering. Lord, I pray I see you in all the blood spilling. I pray I see you in all the drug dealing. Humanity is sick. All Father, we need a healing. The enemy is out to kill all of God's children. But no weapon he forms will prosper against them. Cops ready to kill over melanated pigment under a government on a genocide mission. That's why we gotta have awareness and pay attention. Black on black crime. 
really still lynching. Your own brother would take your life over repentance. Not knowing unity is stripped, weakness is division. Trying to stay afloat, cooking crack in the kitchen. That's not living. We need to come together, break out of bondage, eliminate the oppressor. Know your value, and you gotta know your measure. Cops killing overcomers. Brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? Cops killing over color. Brothers killing brothers, two wrongs don't make a right. Why must my people suffer? All right, peace to the brothers, gunned down by the rollers, filled with hatred for blacks, carrying fully loaded straps in they holsters, make any sudden moves and they might just smoke you. Be quick to leave holes in your stomach like ulcers. They even sending headshots to make sure that it's over. Murder, she wrote, mama screaming, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. All I see is strange fruit hanging from the trees. White cops killing blacks and going free. When will it cease? Another black face.